Hello and welcome to the tutorial on web scraping using Python and Beautiful Zoo. Uh, until the previous video, we were just printing out the details like the job title, company, location, etc. Uh, but uh, we were not saving it. We were just printing it out and it was just displaying the output. And but we were not saving it any anywhere. We would uh, not have been able to use the data that we saved. So in this video, I will just uh, give you a uh, simple uh, trick to trick or a uh, simple tutorial to download the save the uh, scrape data so for that i will be saving the data collected in a csv so i will be importing a csv module and uh, i would recommend that you Im will import the os module you do not need to pip install as it is already installed along uh, they already come along with the python and I have already written this part of code uh, the pages part I wrote this in the previous video I have written this particular block of code so as to save your time and what it does is I'll, uh, I'll show you I'll explain it to you line by line uh, with open this the first line what this part of the code what this does is it will uh, go to the location you have to mention the location uh, I am using this uh, particular location you can just copy, copy it from here and paste it here and change the uh, forward slash to backward slash and uh, name the csv so th uh, this was the location which we mentioned a what does this a mean a means append uh, it, we are collecting company name job title location salary and summary so it will uh, it will append after each and every entry uh, for example i am collecting there are various entries first i'm collecting a job title then again i'm uh, and other details then i'm collecting the job title and other details so in uh, in the rows it will add two number of rows so it will add the details row by row which means it it appends the details encoding utf8 this is the standard one uh, you have to write encoding by utf8 is a basic encoding standard encoding there are various encodings available but this is the standard one and new line if you do not write this particular line uh, this particular piece of code then it will leave a line after appending or uh, after each and every row so it will print job title and other details it will it will leave a line and then again it will print the job title and other details it will leave a line so in order to keep it continuous we add this part of code and csv writer it will write the output in this particular file it uh, tells, tells the uh, it tells to write the output in this particular file and now this piece of code it this part this line of code uh, checks if the file is uh, has some some uh, memory in it or not uh, uh, there's a different uh, use of this while writing uh, the column names these are the column names if the file is empty usually what happens is uh, it will print the column name again and again uh, after each for loop so in order to avoid that what happens what we do is we tell the tell python to check if the file is empty or not if the file is empty uh, it, i will uh, tell it to it will tell it to print the column names and if the file is not empty which means it already consists of the column names so it will not print it out once again so this was the use basic use of this particular piece of code these are the column names the job title company location summary and the salary now next part of code is basic as usual i've just indented it it is collecting uh, it is collecting job title the company name location summary and the salary and now uh, we did not load we not did not uh, put the output here so what this is another line that i have added it takes the company name loads it here company name loads it here title loads it here location loads it here and it will print it so it will write the row it will uh, write the row append the row in the csv file so currently i have not uh, i have not i don't have any csv file created here uh, so i will just run the code and uh, we, uh, the, the output will be visible the data will be saved in a csv file so i'll run the code 
and I'll wait for it. So it is printing the output. Mm, okay, I'm getting salary as well. This is a good thing. Many companies have mentioned the salaries. Usually they do not mention. And that's the reason why we use try and accept statement. In order to not let the grow, uh, in order to avoid the code from breaking. I have used it, I am taking details from five pages. So it is taking small amount of time. It is still collecting some data. Okay, so it has collected the data from five pages. And let's check out the directory, the folder here. Yeah, so as you can see, this is the data scientist CSV uh, that I named here. Data scientist dot CSV. And I am having I am having this particular folder created here and I'll open this and I'll show you what data I have collected. As you can see if the column name is the job title and these are the job titles that I have collected which I have scraped. Now this is the company name, these are the company names as you can see and the location, these are the locations mentioned in the job portal. Now this is the summary, basic summary and now let's check out the salaries. Let's just check out this one of the most important part of the job. Let's see how much people are getting paid. 95,000 to like 40,000 dollars a year. This is a, this is a good income. So this was the basic uh, tutorial where we collect uh, where we save the collected data in a, in the in a csv so i hope you like the video i'm sure you liked it so click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching